I did not think about how difficult this movie would be to technically execute when I was writing it. We're trying to, to deliver something for the fans and, and exercise new muscles for ourselves. This is like a canvas to make a bigger, badder, nastier, crazier version. He kept coming back to me saying, energy, momentum, this thing needs to move. The timeline of the movie began to compress, and then we realized this thing just needs to take off from where the other one left off. This is the chaos that is infused in Haddonfield. It's a community that's ready to boil. Evil dies tonight! It's a very different movie. What happens to somebody 40 years later? How does that trauma carry? So here you have an entire town that has been traumatized, and it's the way you can open up this story. You know as an audience, all this other stuff's happening over here, and people are dying, and these poor folks don't know that yet. Let's get that bird's eye view of Haddonfield itself. What does Haddonfield look like 40 years after the 1978 murders? Any of you know the story of the Haddonfield boogeyman? Too young to give a shit, too drunk to remember. There is a level of pain there in the town that they carry this weight of the fear of Michael. Lindsay, Tommy, Marion, and Brackett. Lori was not the only victim in 1978. My name is Tommy Doyle, and uh, I was that young boy. David Gordon Green and Danny McBride were always adamant that they wanted to see the people of Haddonfield respond to Michael Myers. We watched all of the Halloween so many times that it became pretty easy about who we should pick in. We were down to the point of, like, we should get that dog in. Reaching outside the obvious for casting is important to me and aren't the ones that everybody thinks are the obvious choices, but trying to dig a little deeper. 40 years ago, when I was a kid, you protected me. So tonight, I'm going to protect you. Anthony Michael Hall, he has the toughest role. I grew up watching his movies, and it seemed like it was a right fit for this world. He feels of the time and place and texture of Haddonfield. And he brings kind of a new dimension to the character of Tommy Doyle. Tommy is now in his middle age is, is sort of rallying the local community. This man is a threat, and we need to stop him tonight. He was the younger of the two kids being looked after by Lori. But I think for Tommy, I think it's revenge. I think the sense of wanting to protect Lori and Lindsay. You see the intensity that he brings, the aggression that he brings, and he would be so possessed with Tommy Doyle, steam would be rising out of his head. He's the one that really charges the whole movie with its mission. It is his own trauma that makes him the leader. This ends when Michael is dead! How about this sassy tackle? You have a permit for all these? Some of them. Lonnie. Oh, man. Lonnie is a troubled guy who was a bully when he was a kid in the 78 version. I think his life has been kind of sad. He's felt like a coward his whole life, and some of this is a way to find some retribution for that. You fucking dummy. You brought your kid to the belly of the beast. Now I'm going in alone. He can be gruff, sarcastic, mean, but Robert Longstreet brings real vulnerability. Lonnie is not a great dad, but a really great guy. He's mellowed around the edges and trying to become a better man now and more loving to his son. I will see you at the finish line, buddy. David tried to cast as many people as he possibly could from the original. You know, eight years old, shooting Halloween. I didn't know what I was doing until I saw it. Then I was like, what on God's green earth? 40 years ago. You carried me. I carried you. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. No, no, I'm not going to carry you. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You guys are coming, too. Couldn't let you have all the fun. Yeah. Lindsay has never left Haddonfield. This is something that she's lived with for 40 years. That's not something you can just get over, so she's always going to carry that with her. But, you know, having this group of people, she has the confidence to say, OK, let's all go together and do this. Yeah. Kyle Richards as Lindsay, to see her taking on Michael, it's just like a dream come true. <laughs> She committed 100%. We put her through crazy stunts and threw her in the water. It was going into this swamp. It's literally terrifying. And I see these three men with flashlights looking for gators. And I'm like, what? Back up, did you say alligators? If I saw alligators, you'd all know. <laughs> then I heard a big splash. There was a bullfrog. Uh, but it was a bullfrog. It's okay, everybody. <laughs> We're good. Tick spiders, Michael Myers. On Halloween 2018, I tried to stifle the nerdery a little bit. This one, it came out hard, man. We had Miss Marion Chambers. She survived an assault. 
Nancy Stevens as Marion. I mean, holy crap. It had been years since she'd acted, and I kind of pitched her the idea and what I wanted to do. And once she got to set and saw how much fun everybody was having, she went for it, 100%. I immediately knew who she was because she looked the same. I felt an instant connection to her. It just felt so good, you know, all of these people from the original movie coming together again. Hey, Michael, this is for Dr. Loomis. He killed my daughter 40 years ago. Evil dies tonight. Well, Sheriff Brackett has sort of faded away. <laughs> He's turning us into monsters. Sheriff Brackett from the original film is back, kind of demoted to a security guard in, in Haddonfield Memorial Hospital and trying to step back into that authority that he once had. Just like Lori, there's a part of him that's still frozen in the events that happened in Haddonfield long ago. Charles Cyphers, this guy has been in so many movies I grew up with. <laughs> a couple of my friends were going, I can't believe it. And I said, I can't either, but here I am, you know. Hey, Michael. It's Halloween. Everyone's entitled to one good scare. We had just this beautiful, beautiful reunion. I love the enthusiasm of these guys and the fact that they birthed these characters 40 years ago. It's very surreal to work with all those original cast members of Halloween. Evil dies tonight. I think they're just fascinated in colorful characters who bring a little bit more richness to the movie. Tommy! I believe that Sheriff Brackett went on to be a hospital security guard. I believe that Lonnie, Tommy, and Lindsay are still kicking around Haddonfield, you know, living their lives. 40 years ago, a madman escaped from a mental hospital. People needing someone to pin this pain on. Is he real? Who knows? You could say, oh, you're getting to do the ultimate fan fiction, but I think we go beyond that. We are trying to tell a true storyline that feels real and connected to the 78 movie. It's Halloween night in Haddonfield. And terror is supposed to be fun.